Harry Ricaro being put under some pressure by Hoos in a quick shot. And it does get tapped wide by Canadian goalkeeper Steph LeBay. They have a second corner kick opportunity. It will be Christy Mewis to take it. Bends it in with that left foot punched away by LeBay. Last year, beating the Chicago Red Stars in that final. Here comes Dabinia. This could be trouble. Dabinia goes down to the ground and a penalty kick awarded to the Courage. Unfortunately, gives up the penalty kick. Abby Dahlkemper to take it. She beats Campbell this time. Here comes Prince. Beautiful ball across. And once again, Shea Groom skies it high. Now Dahlkemper got away from her. Shea Groom has another opportunity in the box. Lays it off unselfishly. And Lasko says, thank you very much. The Houston Dash have tied it up. Out of the midfield for Abby Dahlkemper to be able to bypass that first line of pressure and Shea Groom does a good job of picking her pocket and then just slots it to Veronica Latsko to tap it in. Wonderful play, defensive play from the Houston Dash. Hers also, by the way, is alone only through the end of 2020 as Nichelle Prince takes matters into her own hands, gets it across again, nearly identical to what she did on the goal. Malay coming back defensively to help for North Carolina. Does not matter. Christy Mewis, hello. It's caught in transition. They find space in between that midfield and back line to attack. And then Shea Groom and Christy Mewis that link up. Wonderful strike. Christy Mewis just hits it first time. Only place she can hit it. Catches LeBay on that near post. And Nichelle Prince continues to look dangerous. Across it goes. Oh, she is just doing all she can. Either way, we know that pressure, as you mentioned, Jen, comes fast and furious. And Dabinia's shot is also furiously in the back of the net. How quickly did that develop? She gets it past the defender, just gets it out from underneath her foot and just unleashes that shot. Nothing that Jane Campbell can do, upper 90. Look at the dip on that ball. Oh, nice look to find a wide open Malay for North Carolina. Williams in the box and some last minute defending. Well done. Ryan Williams ready and waiting. Back into the middle she goes and it is missed. Well, it has been the tale of two halves essentially. Houston Dash being on the front foot the entire. It's a great touch and the shot. The Houston dash again. And it's Sophie Schmidt does well to play underneath Stangle. This is what we're talking about in terms of Stangle being able to hold up play, does well to keep this one alive. And it's that touch there from Sophie Schmidt that allows this hurt herself to get it out from underneath her, set herself up, and then just bends that into the far post. Chance for North Carolina. This is based in. Over to Williams, and North Carolina has tied it. And here it is again, late in this half. Bazin, the substitute, coming in, and they've seen this space on the right-hand side open up time and time again, especially in the second half. Bazin does well to take the space, get in line. Lynn Williams timing her run well, makes good connection, and finds that far post. Passing along that information from the sideline. Bazin playing the good ball in and saying, thank you very much for the call up, Lynn Williams. The shot and the follow-up. Oh, the goal scoring is not done in North Carolina. Dabinia does it again. Not an easy opportunity. She has players rushing at her. Just slots it to that far post. One of the things you said, Lori, that North Carolina, even with many new faces, North Carolina is still North Carolina. They find a way to get four goals in this match and come back to beat the Houston Dash 4-3.